Okay, here we are with Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Unit 1, Lesson 3. Uh, the last lesson was on treble clef and staff, so now we're going to go to bass clef. Uh, the bass clef, pronounced bass, is used for notes in the lower pitch ranges. The bass, or F clef, has evolved from a stylized letter F. So at some point in history, it looked more like a letter F, and it's just got fancier and fancier over the years, just like the treble clef to see what you have here today of the modern bass clef. The two dots of the bass clef surround the line on which the note F is placed. This F is below middle C, okay? So, boom, there's middle C, this F is down there. All right, so the bass staff looks like that, right? You got the two dots and then boom, the F is the one in between the two dots. So if all you can remember is in between the two dots is F, you can then go in alphabetical order from there either lower or higher to figure out the rest of the notes in bass clef. Uh, in the bass staff, the names of the notes on the lines from bottom to top are G, B, D, F, A. So in the book it says, good boys do fine always. Uh, I feel like that gets mixed up with every good boy does fine a lot. So I actually came up with a different one, or, or actually my class came up with this one. And it's stupid, but I've just always done this since then. And it's grandma buys dresses for all. So you'll probably be hearing me say that a lot. And if you want to remember that, that's great. Um, the names of the notes and the spaces from top to bottom are A, C, E, G. And for this, we go all cows eat grass. Uh, could, used to be all cars eat gas, but that's not true anymore. So it, I guess now it's all cows eat grass. So here you go. And just like in treble clef, it's alphabetical order from line space, line space, line space. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and so on. Flipping it over to the exercises. The bass clef is written in four motions. Trace along the dotted lines as indicated, then draw four more. Okay, so kind of trace here. You start with a dot and then you go boom, make that, goes down to the second line. And then you, for the third motion and fourth motion, you make the two dots. So once again, make your dot, swish it around, boom, boom. So mark one, swish it around, boom, boom. Mark one, swish it around, boom, boom, one, swish, boom, boom one swish boom boom and it doesn't have to be perfect just like the treble clef people will know it's a bass clef um you know mine doesn't look perfect either and it appears as though maybe they got worse as i went on uh here we go we're uh in bass clef figuring out the note names this is just good practice in case uh you know you're new to reading music it's really good to go through this process of figuring out your notes because you'll get faster and faster as you go uh, write the letter names of the following notes. So make sure you flip your brain to bass clef. Grandma buys dresses for all, so G is our first line. All cows eat for the space. Grandma buys dresses for all. Grandma buys dresses. All cars, C, or all cows. That's G, that's A. Grandma buys dresses for F. And then, of course, you've got B, bam. All right, number three, let's go ahead and write the note on the staff indicated by the letters. If the notes could be written in two places, write one above the other. Boom, they already gave you G here. And uh, we are going to go to the next one, which is B. Bada bing, bada boom. C, all cows. Grandma buys dresses for all. Uh, all car cows eat. Uh, all cows eat. Also, grandma buys dresses for all. So you've got that A in two different spaces. D is right there. Boom. G is also in two spaces. So grandma and also gas up there for the space. Boom. There you have it for Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Unit 1, Lesson 3.